Thanks, Gail. That's a hard act to follow. Um, I think before I start, thank you, I think before I start, I have to take care of business. So I'd like to begin my speech by thanking our corporate sponsors, All Things Cling and Go Storage. All Things Cling, makers of unique self-cling products. Go Storage, where it's always time to go storage. <laughs> that preceding acknowledgement is a tax-deductible advertising expense which helped make this event happen. Thank you. <laughs> also, when I asked how to write a speech like this, Melanie said, think of me. Make it short and make it sweet. <laughs> she even helped me by giving me one of her books. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ron and I'm the father of the bride. On behalf of our families, we welcome you with pride. We know that without you, there'd be no Simcha. Special thanks to those who come from afar, those who travel by plane, and those making the long trip by car. <laughs> On behalf of my wife, Gail, and daughters, Mandy and Melanie, we welcome Steve, Heather, Jennifer, and Sean as part of our extended family. Mandy, you are a bodacious bride, and Sean, a debonair groom. The two of you make a wonderful couple, and together you light up the room. Mandy had many role models in her life. Grandma Molly, Zadie Winnie, Zeta Winnie, and Bubby Violet are three. They loved you and now look over you. They are part of your family tree. And there is Bubby Nissa, Zadie Joe, and of course, Zadie Aby. They will kiss you and hug you and ask, so when is the baby? <laughs> Mandy has a very special friend. She met him when she was born. His name is Curly, her blankie, although now it is tattered and worn. Mandy liked dressing up like princesses. Belle was her favorite, and that's never ceased. Seven years ago, she met Sean, or should I say, that's when she met her beast. <laughs> One night, One night, she went on a date with a boy named Sean. I stayed up late wanting to hear her review, but at three in the morning when she hadn't returned, I called Sean one and learned that she was with Sean two. <laughs> well, it turned out okay, as we can clearly see. Sean is a terrific young man. He's going to be a DC. A DC, really, do I have to explain? In another three years, he will get his plaque. He will graduate as a chiropractor so that he can fix your back. Mandy is an occupational therapist. She works with the young and old. She will even come out to see you, but apparently not if you have a cold. <laughs> they are both big fans of the Maple Leafs. I know it's sad, but true. They raise your hopes and break your heart when you support any Toronto team wearing white and blue. <laughs> Mandy, now that you are married, it's time we had that discussion. If you're going to have physical contact, wear a helmet. You're prone to concussion. <laughs> Mandy and Melanie, you are the loves of my life. But before I continue, there is something I must confess. The most beautiful woman I know is standing beside me in the elegant purple dress. I'm not singing. Gail, I've known you almost all my life. We met when we were both 15. I loved you then and I love you now and I've loved you all the years between. And now, before I end this speech, I'd like to offer to the husband and wife words from a real poet, Ogden Nash, for having a wonderful life. To keep your marriage brimming with love in the loving cup, whenever you're wrong, admit it. Whenever you're right, shut up. <laughs> to Mandy and Sean, L'chaim and Mazel Tov. <laughs> 